safe and go 15 or it's up to the healers what you feel comfortable with. Will we try 20 and see how it goes? Might as well. Yeah. Okay, 20 it is then. So as soon as you've got maybe, I don't know, um, 19 stacks, you know, you want to communicate with us, let us know. Uh, so the next person. So just to clarify, whoever gets it first, um, I'll call who's taking pheromones next, alright? Just to be comfortable with it. We'll clear this trash. And Garlon spawns. Don't get locked out of the fight by the way. Garlon spawns and he spawns like a, an invisible wall you can't get through. You'll get locked out of the fight if you're not roughly around the top of the stairs or just on the stairs. So let's uh, go and clear the trash. Uh, pull and ready then. Oh, there was one more thing. Uh, kind of melee DPS. Um, obviously, you guys will be focusing primarily on the legs. Obviously, everyone will, but uh, you guys will be easier to stand in uh, and amongst the the buff you get. The last mob, Dean, can you bring them back to the, the stairs, the last group? Yeah, sure. What do you mean, Phil? You can be tanked and set a piece of What do you mean, Phil? Um, the pheromones. Right, at 33% Garlon has to be tanked and will not follow the person who carries Garlon. a little bit guys, come down, come down, come down. Don't, don't stand up there, you've locked out from off the stairs. Clear tank, come down. Magina, come down, you've locked out. Okay, I don't see that. Okay, just before I start, do you see the big 
pink circle underneath the bus. And do you see the little dotted blue ones around both legs that we can see at the moment? Yep. The pink one? Bad. The blue one? Good. Okay. Can't simplify it any more than that. Um, tanks pulling ready. Pheromones went straight onto us. Was it on you, Dean? Yeah. Uh, somebody just. No, gave it to me. Yeah, it's because everyone was in the middle. Um, I would suggest you wipe at the start of this. Beware! You can shit all over the floor. It's gonna be easier just to start with. Someone, it's uh, someone minion is in the middle. Is that? Count as a melee in the middle, I think. I don't know. Uh, it shouldn't be. We're getting a lot of crushes. I know no reason to cash crushes due to someone standing in the pink circle. Oh, I don't think it will be, though, man. I, I can't see that. I don't know. I have no idea what happened now. Uh, I was going to say, it seems that um, the closest player at the, at the start there got the pheromones, so it might be an idea to whoever you want to take it first to go in the middle and uh, aggro in and then run out to the side where, uh, and make sure everybody else is out in the path of that person as well. Sounds like a good plan. It went on to uh, Pale Town first and then it transferred straight over to me and then obviously when I ran to the side it went straight on to okay. uh, somebody else. Okay, make sure that um, make sure that you have aggro then when your stats get too high because you're going to get pheromones first. You're going to be counting them where you want them, okay? So when you get too many stats Pure Tang will turn them off you. You pass, you basically pass him. Oh no, you can't, you can't. You can't you, Pure Tang can't be with you. How, how the hell does that work? Scott, I, I know how it works, right? Basically, the boss is going to follow whoever's got pheromones on them, so it needs to be. You can choose who you want to kite him first, because he's basically kited, isn't he? So, for example, if I pull him, He's going to put the pheromones on me, so what we'd do is put me over in the corner away from everybody else. I'll pull him, and then he's effectively going to put the pheromones on me and follow me, and I'm going to kite him round the room. I'll hit my 20 stacks and then obviously call for whoever to take it off me. So it's not a fight in the traditional sense that the tank's going to pick him up first, because you're okay while they're in front of him and taking the, whatever the, the spell is. Yeah. Yeah. For the corn thing, it's going to be one of the DPSs. It's a strange fight for me, you know, being an old school tank, thinking, okay, it's not actually the tanks that have got threat on them, it's the pheromones that have got Okay. What way are you most comfortable going, Phil, left or right with them? Either way, mate, it doesn't bother me, so it's it. I can go both ways. Okay, you probably pull them from about there then. Yeah. I just go round them towards the back from towards the back round that way. We'll go clockwise. Oh, right. okay. Just go clockwise, mate. Yeah. So uh, do you need to do you need to decide no fourth person then? Um, just give me a. Sh uh, Faye's taken over from you, so... Um, yeah, just communicate. Everyone else kind of try and keep quiet. There's no reason really no reason. People that's got the pheromones need to, need to talk. I think there's a two minute debuff after your pheromones are switched. But between the three of us that should be okay, I think.
Who's taking the pheromones first? Me. On a clockwise face, I'm going where we're facing me to the left and then up the back and then along the back and then down the right. Okay. Everyone's ready, so Phil you get in. Question Garrel Launch Pure Intins or something. Nope, didn't do it. Seems the boss likes me. Um, you did taunt, did you? No. What about your uh, bull in the middle? Does that taunt? Yeah, he uh, likes like an aggro. Um, yeah, we just uh, we, we probably won't need to, we won't need to taunt at all, so you can, you don't really need your your ups. Beware. Uh, unit, you can at thirty three percent because he stops following. Again, that's a So I'm just reading some other stuff as well. At the risk of sounding silly, how, how do you manage to keep Garrel on, on you? Okay. Right, what it is maybe is following the pheromones, right, so be right. Let's assume for argument's sake, everybody stood on the stairs, yeah? I'm the only one that hits him, so long as no one does anything, he's gonna put the pheromones on me, because I'm the only one that's hit him. That's what he's following, that's basically the taunt, that acts as the taunt. And that's why you need, and obviously, I basically kite him around the room, because he moves slowly, and obviously as you kill the legs, it's gonna slow him down, so that you can continue to kite him, okay? Because eventually he will catch up, that's why you kill the legs. Um, once the stacks reach too too much, he's doing too much damage, someone else takes over it and continues to kite. The whole idea is until 33% you keep kiting him and keep killing the legs. Obviously that does damage to him because every time you kill a leg it takes 3% off his health as well. So, I mean it must be because obviously Paul's put that ox thing in the middle and it's taunted. So, I don't know that's weird because to me, he's following the pheromones. That is what he's doing. That's effective with the tank mechanism for it until the 33%. Okay, so tanks, you don't need to drop your ox. You don't really need to. If you get the whole tanking idea out of your heads for this fight, because it's like Phil said, he's following the person that has the pheromones, and all you're doing is basically staying in front of them, soaking up the furious swipes. Um, it's a strange old fight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But Phil get infected again. Uh, sorry, mate. No comment. If they're not... I just sound all squeaky, listen. I've had flu. Yeah, Dean, I'll, what I'll do is I'll move in a bit, but what I'm going to do is go to the left of where everybody is now so that I can basically get to the left-hand side and then run it up along the left-hand side and along the back because we want to keep it to as far to the outside as possible. So, because I don't know how close I can get before he'll actually pull. I mean, it won't really matter once I'm going, but yeah, I don't want to end up spreading it all over the place, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm 
He'll kill his uh, the skull. All right. That's the leg we'll focus on for. Yeah, you're probably right, pill time, yeah. Okay, everyone is ready. Is everyone in on the stage? You got him? Yeah, you got him. He's got him. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him. Uh, yeah, you should say you don't actually you don't have to run so fast as well. You can you can move. It goes every two seconds, and uh, yeah, you can just take your time. Yep. Okay. Just yep. Have, yeah, Phil, you just got to watch where the crush hit boxes when it comes down where you're standing. Right, there. Can you come to me, please? I've got twenty seconds. Okay, you've got it. Yeah. Sunday. Right, I've got 30 stacks. I need someone to come and take this off me, please. I'm gonna park. No idea where you are, mate. Oh, you're there. Right. Right, spot not on there. <coughs> 37 stacks, I've got two. Yeah, I moved that a bit quick. I wasn't sure how quick it was going to drop it, so I'll move it a bit slower next time, but at least we know that works now. And that's okay. still stacking okay. on me, even though I'm dead. I'm up to 44 stacks now. Yeah, I was just like, uh, the way they do it in the video is they put, they kind of, they just like, uh, stagger it. They, they put one down and then they move up, put another one down, and then move like diagonally, put one down, but they're moving like really, really slow, just, just, Keeping them really, really tight together, all the all the dots, but it makes him walk around a lot slower as well. So it's easier for everybody else to either DPS or for us to stay in front of this cone attack. Yeah, we need to we need to stay stacked up as well. The people that are not people that are not doing the pheromones. Okay, where's all the other damage coming from? Because I was hit with something. As soon as the wall went up, everybody gets hit with pheromone damage every two seconds. And if uh, if you're standing in front of the boss, you get you'll get damage as well. You 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 guys have to stay behind the boss and just let me and Peo take the the front damage. Um, Fair was that the. Uh, I can't see it being the pungency that's actually killed you because it shouldn't do any transfer damage. It's not saying anything about any transfer damage. So I don't know if you'd maybe get caught in front of him and he's done something there. I did have the pungency come on me. Um, as soon as they switched and you moved, I was just one-shotted. It was like, yeah. And I still had the buff even when I was dead. Hmm. because you died and then I took it back off you again because <clears throat> whoever's got it, if they die, whoever's closest to it within the set range is obviously going to pick it up and then continue to carry it so if I don't move away quick enough, I, it might be that I just didn't move away from you quick enough. But I'm reading it and I'm not seeing anything. I not I can't see anything. Thank 
Yeah, because once you transfer pheromones, Phil, you automatically then get pungency. And the exposure to these pheromones leaves you extra pungent, increasing pheromone damage by 10% for two minutes. And I just got absolutely stomped. It's like, yeah, it's up, no, it's dead. Yeah, I mean, it's because I didn't know how quick it was going to transfer, so basically, as you're running into me, I need to be moving away from you as quick as possible, then, because it transfers pretty much instantaneous by the looks of it. Yeah, I think it's pretty much here, how about you use on the passion that we pass kind of thing, you know? Well, you know, Sheridan is caring. But nobody, nobody else go, um... Um, I was trying to stay close so that I could heal him. Aye, aye, that's the thing, aye. Yeah, you, the rest of us really, really all need to kind of stay stacked for the heals and whatnot. Um, probably shout around about the 17 stack mark, Phil. Yeah. Um, and then, would you get. No, you're probably not, it's okay, forget that. Anyway, we'll have another go, and then we'll do. I'll do a bit more research on it for tomorrow night. I guess you're not around tomorrow night, are you? Eh, uh, I'm um, now. Oh, you are now. Cool. Aye. Do you want me to stay with the person that's got the pheromones and just bind and heal, so I can heal the tears as we go around? Aye, right, try that. See how that goes. So you just have to be careful you don't get too close so you take it off them. No. Okay, everyone, everyone's ready, just come down the stairs a little bit. So you can go and get in position if you want, pal. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was just waiting in the dungeon jamming thing. I need to move just to get away from him so it's going to be spread quite fast across the back and I'll slow down. Beware. It's 15 stacks. What are you going to? 20 if you can come now please. Still got it. There we go. Just go. Yeah. yeah, Scott, I think we're gonna have to read up on that, mate. There's something wrong with the transfer on that. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Alright, 
what we'll do is um, we'll call this for tonight. Okay, I'll do some uh, reading up to what we can do. I'm thinking it's probably going to have to be plate wearers that do the pungency. Uh, or possibly even Lucy could do it. Because the plate wearers I mean, I'm okay. take a bit of, bit of, bit of damage. Uh, you're okay because um, you've got your fell armour and whatnot, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I've got damage reductions that I can use, so it's not too bad. I mean, I could probably push it to about 25, providing I've got someone that picks it up, but I think it is what, from what Faye was saying, she's just going to get fucking mullered, mate. There's not a lot we can do about that. I mean, I'm going to have a read up on it anyway, um, myself. Yeah. But yeah. That's fucking strange that they do it that way, but it is what it is again. What I'm thinking along the lines of is, um, yeah, Kenshi, Phil, uh, Dean. And we'll have uh, Pale Tang in there as well. Um, all pretty, you know, solid people, so. But, you know, we're learning fights, so it's just not a problem. We've got the boss down that we want to get down, so kill. Yeah, but you'll still, you'll still be um, three people in at melee range, Dean, uh, and only one person doing the pheromones. So all you're doing is switching over the melee from you know, coming out, taking over the other deck, but you, you bugger off back in. Uh, there st should be, in, in theory, four of you there. Mm, yeah, okay, it's just, as long as, as long as them guys can handle the, I mean, it's, I think it'll be it's about 150k or something damage between two, like, what for, it's like 300 between two people, but it's quite often as well, it's quite frequent. It's probably just more for the heroes, as long as they can handle it, then, yeah, then that'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. I'll do some research on it anyway, and I'll do, uh, I'll troll some forums and whatnot. And we'll look, see, but we'll get back in here tomorrow night. Um, but thanks for coming, guys. Uh, good kill on uh, Blade Lord. Uh, hopefully, get this guy down tomorrow night. We just have to sort a few things out. But cheers for coming. Yeah, thanks. It was good. Yeah, good job getting the second guy down. But uh, if everyone could watch the Fat Boss video uh, on the fight, it would be cool if you've got any ideas, you're most welcome to share them. If you've got any tips that you find cool, let us know about it. I'm always open to suggestions. But cheers guys. There's, uh, there's three guides on Wowpedia. Uh, the Double Dragon one for tank DPS and healers. Aye, that'll be handy as well. Uh, as I said though, I'll look at them all and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get back in here tomorrow. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get them done. But cheers guys. <laughs>
are taking too much damage. I think it's not the pheromones that are causing the problem, it's the crush. I think somebody's minion or pet or something is causing them to crush all the time. I mean, does he only crush when somebody's close to him? Like in that pink circle? Yeah. That's what makes me think it's a pet, because obviously it's gone through the body rather than the legs. Yeah. Well, I was recording, so I can go back and look at the video. So what are you doing now? Going back to trying to get your lore master to you? No, I'm just checking some stuff on the auction house and I'm going to bed because I feel like crap. So it's trying just the gold. Take it. Have you got the cold? Oh, I've, I've had flu. Like proper, uh, not being able to get out of bed. Headaches, all that sort of crap. No, I don't. Ah well, I'm gonna go and join my other uh, guilds team speak. Okay, sweet. They're very leveling them out. I'll catch you later. See you later. Mm.